Good evening, guys. Yeah, we also chatted briefly tonight with some friends and loved ones of these three brothers. Everyone has had, understandably, a very, very long day. The brothers are aged 15, 17 and 21. The older two reportedly underwent surgery today, while the youngest, in spite of being shot in both legs, is seemingly in the best condition of the three. I get hysterical because it, it happened so fast. Lisa Pinkney was outside earlier lighting up a cigarette when all hell broke loose right up the street. And all you hear is about 30 gunshots. One of those bullets struck her family member's car, smashing the glass at the back of the vehicle. Thankfully, the kids that were in there had just been brought inside, but others weren't so lucky. This lady just, three of her children just got shot. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is going on? She lives close to the 76th and South Walcott intersection, right across from Burton Elementary School, and tells us three of her neighbours, brothers, were hanging out on the corner when that gunfire erupted. Police say it was someone driving by who pulled the trigger and sped off, leaving a 15-year-old with gunshot wounds to both legs, a 17-year-old shot in the back, and a third victim, a 21-year-old, struck in the head. He collapses to the ground. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, oh my God. So of course, we're all out here screaming and yelling, where's the police, where's the fire department, where's the ambulance? Nobody's here yet, nobody's here yet. Pinkney says their mother came running outside too to find her children on the ground. She ran outside to see three of her children shot. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. She's so distraught. You can see the hurt, the pain, and me being a mother, I hurt because she hurts. Right now, no one is in custody, with Pinkney and all the other neighbours left praying for peace and hoping all three siblings survive. If you believe in God, pray for this family. I've never seen nothing like this. I've never witnessed as much blood as I've seen come from someone. I've never seen this. This is, again, we are very close-knit block. We're family-oriented. Now we're told the boy's mother is still here at the hospital tonight with her sons. All of this happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon, broad daylight on a Sunday. We did ask for some surveillance video from some of the neighbours. We were not able to obtain any, but again, that elementary school is right across the street from where this happened, so presumably some of their cameras have caught some of this footage. Nobody in custody tonight. As always, if you have any information that could help police, you're asked to give them a call or submit a tip anonymously at cpdtip.com. Well, I have a Comer Children's Hospital, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.